Again, she is the executive director for the Piedmont Healthcare COVID Task Force right here in Atlanta. Dr. Morgan, always great to see you. Thank you. Great to be here. So what are the hospitals looking like right now with the flu, RSV, COVID? Absolutely. I mean, we do see hospitalizations increasing with COVID, 56% increase in, uh, in cases, 24% increase in hospitalizations. That's just with COVID. With flu, we have had 7,300 deaths already, 13 million cases. And remember, flu season tracks through May. We're only mm. in December. Oh, so we got a long we way are, to go. We are absolutely looking towards a, a rough patch this year. Oh, my goodness. And so, you know, HHS uh, data is showing that less than half of the population actually got their annual flu shots. Um, and, and I wonder if it's because people are feeling very fatigued, you know, getting their COVID vaccines, getting the boosters. And I mean, are people just throwing up their arms and saying, yet another shot, flu, I don't want to. But they should. They should. And I think people are fatigued. You're absolutely correct. But also there's this anti-science, anti-vax movement that's pushing forward. And we have to make certain that the scientific voices are heard, that people uh, with scientific backgrounds are actually leading these discussions as opposed to people with large platforms but no scientific credentials. And so we have to make certain that we understand that vaccines do save lives. And we have seen the COVID vaccine really be responsible for saving millions of lives during this entire pandemic. So this is not the time to be exhausted. We know that people are super, super tired. Yeah. But honestly, get your mask game on. You see, I I've got a mask the today. color coordinated. And color coordinated. Yes. Feel free to wear your mask and enjoy it and have a little fun with it right. and also be safe. And remember, that your mask not only protect you, but they keep you from touching your face yeah. where your hands may be contaminated. And people really as well. should not be offended. I mean, you know, we're we're all getting together mm -hmm. this holiday, and people feel like you know, for the first time in a very long time, they're getting together with friends, family, you know, all along the same time of Hanukkah, you know, Christmas, Kwanzaa, all of this together. But then they feel like a little apprehensive about wearing the mask because they don't want to insult anybody. So Absolutely. how should we handle this when we go to family? you know, households or friends' households. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, how, do, how do you disarm some of the folks of feeling that kind of apprehension? Absolutely. Have the courage to be the only one. Maybe have the courage even to exhibit some leadership with it. Because one of the things that we know is that masks certainly provide some protection. And if we need any evidence of that, let's look at the last two years with regard to our flu rates and RSV rates, mm -hmm. which not only flattened but decreased. A lot of that had to do with public health measures and why we're seeing a resurgence now mm -hmm. as people have come out from behind the mask. So masks absolutely help you. Make certain that you are looking at boosters. Your COVID bivalent booster is available. Mm -hmm. We have only had an uptake of about 11 or 12%. Mm -hmm. Those over the age of 65, only a 35% uptake, which is incredibly alarming mm -hmm. because this is the group that we are seeing have the highest rate of hospitalizations and death because that early vaccine, those antibodies have now waned and you need a booster to make certain that you are protected. So we talked about the, the flu, we've talked about COVID, but then RSV, mm -hmm. you know, which is swept through uh, a lot of households, but there really isn't a vaccine for that. So how are you protecting yourself against uh, RSV or even treating yourself if you have been exposed to it? With all of the viruses that we've had circulating, not only COVID and the flu, we had monkeypox, we have a, a resurgence of measles in some area, mm -hmm. RSV, they all have vaccines mm -hmm. with the exception of RSV. So make certain those, uh, those viruses for which you can get protection, you do so because that helps with everything with the circulation of viruses. Remember, not only does RSV not have a vaccine, right. it also doesn't have a therapy. There is no treatment for it. There's only supportive treatment. Mm. So make certain you do everything that you can to decrease the rate of circulations of this entire medley, this entire potpourri of yeah. viruses. And that will also help with RSV to protect those in your household who could be vulnerable. Yeah, and RSV, it's miserable, but it's also potentially, uh, you know, deadly. Mm -hmm. So at one, one point um, this week, mm -hmm. uh, 375 pediatric ICU beds in Georgia, of that 
amount, only two were available. I mean, the notion of that is just really frightening. And it's for a you know kaleidoscope of reasons, right? It's not just flu, it's not just COVID. In many cases, people have delayed surgeries right. as well. So what is happening? That's right. I and mean, how are, are hospitals able to meet the need? Absolutely, and we are always you know on the precipice of are we approaching a crisis and hospitalizations and beds, and certainly we've seen our children's hospitals really be un inundated. And what we're seeing now, even though we're seeing a flattening of the RSV cases, we still see a spike in certain areas of the country. And so it really will depend on where you are. And just because we don't now see an increase in cases, that doesn't mean hospital beds aren't available because people were admitted and they're sick and they're still there yeah. taking up those beds because they are not well enough mm -hmm. to leave. So remember that just because you don't see cases increasing, mm -hmm. those people in the hospital can be quite ill and are there for long periods of time. And that's why the beds aren't available. RSV can be quite serious. Yeah. So make certain we take it seriously. Indeed. So good to see you, Dr. Jane Thank Morgan. You. Happy holidays.